put us in the mess that we find ourselves. Alright, how's everybody doing? This is Luke the Duke, and we are once again checking out a ship that is available in the workshop. Now this ship is built by my buddy Sultan, and we've actually checked out a ship that is similar to this a couple weeks ago when I made the Gravity Cannon little montage. So this is a variant of the Gravity Cannon, but instead of using the, the regular um, artificial mass block sort of slug setup, it's actually just using ore, so this is somewhat of an ore cannon. I like to think of it as sort of like the shotgun as opposed to somewhat of a sniper like the other one is. So the, I, I can see Sultan building a whole, just like a, a whole fleet of different gravity powered ships like this. And you guys, I've just every, I've had so much fun with this thing. So you guys are about to see what this beast is capable of. Um, I have actually yet to try to hit a, a target that's on Earth. I think the spread on this thing is just a little bit too wide. So you're about to see, you guys. Obviously, it's going to hit the planet if you shoot it towards there. But it's, you know, the question is, is it going to hit what you're aiming at? And unlike the last gravity cannon we reviewed, the ore cannon is uh, unfortunately not going to be able to do that. So if we go into the camera view, you guys, this is probably the coolest part here. A very cool, like, a barrel of this thing. Zoom in. Uh, this is a ship that I've built down here that we were shooting. I built it quite a while ago, but we're going to destroy this son of a bitch. So, what you got to do in order to activate this, you guys, the hotbar is already all set up for you. What you got to do is press 1, and then once you press 1, you're going to want to get a good cluster of these things together, and then you're going to want to press 3. So, wait till there's a good amount of them together, and then you just let it fly. Oh, straight through the entire ship you guys I pretty much just wasted it right there now it's a very tight slug you guys very tight slug so let's actually aim at the planet and let's see if you know it actually might be an orbital cannon just like the just like the last one so let's activate it let's press one and I'll tell you what you guys uh, it's a lot more dependable than the other one the other one would sometimes blow up in the barrel and stuff and this one doesn't seem to do that Oh, look at that, you guys. A very, very widespread. It's just like, could you imagine just a shower just being showered down with like a bunch of just fucking huge pieces of rock? Okay, well, you guys, that's still promising enough to where I'm actually going to show. I didn't think I was going to do this, but um, I'm going to shoot uh, the Earth planet that's down there. I'm going to have to, you guys. I mean, this is just too juicy to pass up. Before we do that, let's let's get rid of this ship here. All right, you see this, you guys? Just keeps going. And what you gotta do to stop it is press two. Sometimes it stops by itself, but if you want to stop it, it, it's almost like a machine gun at some points, you guys. Oh look, we got a turret shooting, a stray door flying away. So you guys, this thing handles quite well too. Let's get out of the camera view. So as you guys can imagine, um, this one 
it brings out the ore just a lot quicker than the other one so it's actually able to get in um, some close-up skirmishes with some better chances it is all light armor you guys it would get destroyed so incredibly fast so you probably wouldn't want to do that but at the same time it, it could also be done you guys so you could modify this thing and just put a bunch of heavy armor on it and oh Ranko what the fuck are you doing I guess me and one of my random friends just joins the match. Alright you guys, so it's become clear to me that I cannot hit any targets on the planets. Uh, the spread is just too wide, you guys. So instead, we are going to face off against two incredible ships, you guys. Um, one is the Helicarrier. The other is called the Inquisitor. I will leave both links in the description. Um, none of these ships were built by me. Uh, one of them was built by Sultan. And the two other creators I will link in the description. So you guys, I'm just trying to show you what pretty much you do with these one of these graph cannons and what makes them so gosh darn effective. So basically, they're going to be the Helicarrier and the Inquisitor are going to be charging me as soon as their timer blocks are activated. And as it is now, we're a little too far away from them to do much damage, so we're going to want them to charge us a little tiny bit. Assuming that we got the timer blocks set up correctly. Alright, the Inquisitor is starting to move. Has a lot of turrets on it. Is majority of heavy armor. Oh my. No, these two are fighting. That's not what I wanted. Oh, it's spinning around and shit. Holy crap. I will help you, Inquisitor. This is not what I wanted. So you can fire on the run, you guys. Load it up on the run. Just make sure you're facing forward. See, that's pretty wild. I don't know if any of those are going to hit. We need to get a little closer. Oh no, this is going to be epic, you guys. <laughs> we got to fight. I told them to come to me. I don't know why they're attacking each other. Can't tell how much damage we did with those that barrage. We're gonna get closer, my bros. The Inquisitor is going in right now, dude. Hell yeah. How much damage we're doing, I can't really tell. That's a nice little slug. That's how you want him to shoot out, you guys. We want to get them really nice and condensed. How much damage? Oh, you see the impact on that one. So you guys, like I said, it's sort of a shotgun. You got to get a little close. And for the amount of light armor this thing has, uh, getting too close might end up being a mistake. But it looks like the Inquisitor actually has a lot of its attention right now. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Get it swinging around here. And then release it. Ooh, it looks like straight to the cockpit. Sometimes it just shoots out like a machine gun, guys. It just keeps going. Fire! how much damage this one does oh, a lot of bouncing you guys a lot of bouncing I don't know if it's enough to take out this heavy armor looks like the Inquisitor is disabled all right this should be a good one here we go, my bros. Oh, nice and condensed. Oh, beautiful. No! They all fucking bounced! Guys, I was worried about this. It would seem that heavy armor is impenetrable. It just bounces off. So, uh, I thought I was doing damage before, but I don't see any damage to speak of.
Alright you guys, we have activated rapid fire. We're not fucking around anymore. Oh my god, send it all. Machine gun mode. Oh god, they're, they're attacking me now, guys. We're... I don't know if I'm doing any damage. Oh no. We might be doing a little now that we ruptured the first hole. We're sending everything we got, you guys. Okay guys, so the battle is over. Um, we, we're running into a couple problems there. The main problem was the ore cannon. It just pretty much cannot penetrate heavy armor. And both of these ships have a good majority of heavy armor. The helicarry actually has a fair amount of light armor. But this thing is coated in heavy armor and what was happening is the ore was just bouncing off. So the light ships, the ore was just cutting through it like butter. And the the heavy armor ships you could just see giant just the whole series of the barrage of little ore pellets just pretty much bounce off the heavy armor i'm not sure if it's you know it might be doing you know a little bit of damage but it's definitely not making any holes making any breaches anything like that so you guys this is the end of the episode i'd like to thank everybody for watching we're definitely gonna have to think about a different payload for the ore cannon i don't know what would be more successful maybe uh, switching up the ore probably wouldn't help but you know maybe launching components or something you know tweaky or you know sort of freaky like that tweaky or freaky don't know where i was going with that but yeah you guys i'd like to thank uh the creators of both of these ships uh this is the inquisitor by conrad larson and xoc and this is the ever so famous helicarrier. There's like 600 of them on the workshop at the moment. Let's jump into the spectator mode so we can jump over there a little faster. Oh wow, where are we? Oh, we're back at the helicarrier. Beautiful, beautiful. So, oh, we're going 10,000 miles too fast. So you guys, a very impressive ship made by Sultan himself. So you guys, uh, it's it, you, you have a lot of fun with this thing. So light armor pretty much just tears through things. And this is completely, completely set up for survival. And it's actually not that hard to make, you guys. So just connectors and using a, a timer block along with a program block and uh, all that stuff. And just pretty much just using the timer block to spit out coordinated little bursts of stone. And then they sort of just gather up in here. And then the gravity drives push them towards whatever direction you're facing and it does a fair amount of damage to light armor as you guys remember in the beginning of the episode i just tore through that one light armor ship that i had built in one little payload so you guys um i'm not sure what you could do to remedy this to make it a little bit more powerful obviously the speed mod might have something to do with it um i actually turned it i turned it off because i was trying to get the i thought the slugs were traveling too fast when i was trying to hit the planet and i was trying to turn this into an orbital an orbital um an orbital cannon of some kind and the the spread was just way too wide you guys and i i honestly could never find a single a single pellet a single rock that fell down to earth so you guys i'd like to thank you for watching this has been i always like the the gravity cannon videos for some reason i always have a lot of fun with them you guys so i will continue working on it with sultan's help and maybe we'll think of a couple new payloads maybe a couple new gravity cannons in the future you guys if you enjoyed this video please go out and support sultan and leave him a favorite leave him a like and also go out and support to the inquisitors um creator uh both of the creators there was a link to, it was a joint uh creation and the helicarrier of course that famous iconic son of a bitch it's like the most iconic ship in space engineers at this point you guys that damn helicarrier <laughs> so you guys and the mini henry of course so you guys i think thank you all for watching this is luke the duke and once again good night and good luck